Hi, I'm Amy. Um, I am an expert draper, pattern maker, and seamstress. I've worked in all sorts of theater, fashion, shops, and rental houses, and entertainment companies. I have a lot of varied experience. Um, I was formally trained at Purchase College's Conservatory for Theater Arts and Film. I majored in costume technology. Um, so I know the right way to do everything and I know shortcuts. So in this video, we're going to go over draping on a top and I'm going to go over how you do gathers and yokes and things that are a little bit more complicated than your basic body block. Okay. Let's get started. So we'll start out with just a bare form. Um, we can use kind of scrap pieces of muslin from uh, that we've discarded from past draping. Sometimes you end up with big chunks and everything that we do on this bodice is gonna be fairly small pieces so we can get away with using those. Uh, okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is the top yoke because that's the part that's flat and the gathers are gonna attach to that. This is the green line. You just want to make sure it's going to have enough fabric to go up there to the shoulder. You want to, as always, keep the green line on center front. Very important. Let's put this on. And you're going to pin, let's just move that up. It's just the very top we're going to use. You want to pin away from the direction that you're going. And keep that grain as straight as you can. I'm going to cut a lot of this away, so... We'll remove pins when we need to. Excuse my voice. I have a bit of a allergy cough right now. All right, so you see we pinned so that when you pull this, the pins don't come out. That's important. So we'll just spread that across. It is going to go to the under arm. You want like a stability piece that's gonna go there. So just pin under the arm. Side seam. There it is. Pin that the opposite direction that you pin center front. That way, everything stays in place. Okay, we'll go up. This is when we're going to need to start cutting so that it lies nice and flat. Fabric scissors, very important. These are Ginger dressmaker shears, left hand, because I'm left handed, but you just, Ginger dressmaker shears are really great scissors that everyone who works in, works with fabric should really have. All right, so we're just gonna trim this because we don't need it. I'm gonna trim under the arm too. The more you trim, the flatter it will all lay. And this is why you end up with a lot of waste when you're draping of muslin. So you just save whatever sizable scraps you have and you can use them later maybe. But then you also end up hoarding a bin of muslin scraps that you may never do anything with. It's just a hazard of the trade. Okay. So we're going to go up here. Now I don't want this to be a high neckline. I want a lower neckline. So as soon as I get this, you know, pinned in place, so it's right on the body, I will adjust that. And it doesn't need to go this low either because I'm going to put gathers going across the bust. 
All right. Let's see. I kind of feel like a square neck would be nice. Just like that. No, we'll go more like this. If you want to draw it in, you can. You can start with a pencil until you feel like it looks good. And then this can even dip down at center front. That might look nice. It's a little bit harder though. I think that looks nice. So now I'll just trim around that. Leave a little bit of excess still, just in case. <clears throat> I'm gonna cut this. So that's your upper yoke. Now for the gathers, let's see, that's the green line. Oh, this is the green line, okay. So this should go like that. I don't think this piece is gonna make it. Uh, well, you know what, it might. I'll just use a new piece just in case. <clears throat> so here, you're going to pin with the grain in the right spot. As always, it's very important you always do this. We can certainly cut a whole bunch of this away, but then you're going to take some seam tape. This is very helpful when doing gathers. Now the amount that we need is this. So we can just cut that. This you're gonna do along the bottom of the yoke. You'll start with one end and now you're just gonna run, pull your gathers like this. However much you think you want it gathered, keeping the grain straight. You don't wanna twist it like this. That's not what you wanna do. We'll start there, that looks like a good amount. So you'll pull your tape to the side, keep that up. Pull your tape here. You're going to want it to go into the underarm flat. So you don't want your gathers to go all the way to the side seam. You're going to stop them pretty much at like the curve of the armhole. Need a little extra for that. So that's where your tape will stop. And then you'll just continue this. <clears throat> to the underarm. Now you can adjust these gathers and see if you like how gathered it is. Now that this is there. You just kind of gently wiggle it a little pretty nice. And now this, if you remember, my line is all the way up here. So this is going to go more like that. It takes a lot of finesse, but most of draping does. 
If it's looking a little light in the gathers, I kind of feel like it might be. You can release the pin over here, the two pins, and pull more fabric in. Let's see. Eh, it's actually not bad. All right. Where's my line? There. I'll stick a pin right here. That's pretty much accurate right there. I can cut this away. And now the gathers are only going to be for the bust part, not all the way down. So we're going to put another piece of seam tape underneath the bust. Right there looks good. Kind of pull those gathers down. Let's see. And you'll stop it there again. But this piece will go all the way to there where the side seam is. That looks pretty good. You can wiggle them around if you're still unsure you have the right amount of gathers. It's whatever you are, whatever look you're going for. I like it. So now I'm just going to cut the rest away. If you want to add a few more pins just to keep those gathers in place, that's fine. I think we'll point this down a little bit too. Kind of mimic the arch up with an arch down. Yeah, it's still not big enough. All right. Go back to this. So here you'll pin over that at the bottom. Straight down the center front line again. Now you are going to need a dart, which at this point, because this is going to the underbust, it's really just going to end up a seam pretty much. So we might as well just cut that. So that'll go, that'll stop right there at that side front seam. Otherwise it's not going to fit form fitting underneath those gathers. Okay, trim that away. trim this too if this is bothering you. Which 
trying to keep that grain line as close to what it would be as possible. I'll come over here, pin on that side front seam. And pull it over to the side seam. Seams on this form are so well pressed out, it's kind of hard to feel them sometimes. So I take a little peek. All right, then I'll trim this all the way. You might, you see these ripples here? Those are just because there's extra here on the bus. You clip that, it'll lay a bit flatter. Same thing down here. See, that's nicer. All right, so that's the gist of it. Now what you'll do is you'll have to mark out, just like you mark the transfer to paper on any other draped, you're gonna have to mark out this tape as well um, and you might even want to measure, let's see, you'll measure how long the tape is. So that's about eight and three quarters. So you might write on there that this gathers and you'll put a notch, notch where the gathering ends. And you'll put gather two eight and three quarters. And you'll have to match that notch on the yoke as well. So wherever you notch that, that's where you know it gathers to. So when you're making the pattern, you're going to pull this piece off and straighten it out. And that's, um, that's what you put on paper, the full extended piece. And then you'll want to like notch here at this seam. You'll do that on your tape and on the gather piece so that when you flatten it out, you'll know where that is. Same thing here. Like this is where it curves up. I'll notch that. You basically just want to make sure that when you take this off and everything seems like a confusing mess and you put it all on paper, it'll make sense once you see it on paper. You'll remember like, oh yeah, that has to line up with that and that and it gathers to this much and it kind of like helps you from there. You might even get more specific with your gathers once you put it on paper, like measure this distance to here and this distance to here and do your gathers, the measurement there in two separate ones instead of just the full amount since this, this is a shaped seam. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty simple. The yoke is pretty simple. Um, you're going to want to do two of those so that you can bag out the neckline. Um, and then this in front is fine, it's whatever. If you leave this as a sleeveless shirt, then you can do a side zipper, which might be nicer. Um, and then in the back, you'll have a yoke that mirrors the front. And then again, uh, just normal flat back, like your bodice block with darts up the back. And that'll be like a really cute dressy tank top for the summer. So that's how you do gathers. I like it. I think it's fun. I prefer when draping is more artistic and feeling it out than just flat structures, you know, against the body. I like when things flow and you have to manipulate the fabric a little bit more. 
I think that's fun, but that's my personal preference. So uh, hopefully everything was clear and uh, feel free to reach out if it's not. And I'll, I'll totally don't mind going back and filming another video to answer any questions anyone has. All right. Thank you. Good luck.